Camtasia 2022 has new exporting features. Let me show you what they look like. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 2022 and I just edited a live stream that we recently did about YouTube sponsorships. Originally, the video was 90 minutes long and I cut it down to 60 minutes long. So I got rid of 30 minutes. So now I want to export the video, which basically means let's finalize this and make this an MP4 that we can upload to YouTube or upload to Facebook or wherever you want to put the video. So there's two places that you can export your video. You can literally click this button right here on the right hand side, or you can go to the left hand side and click the export tab and export your video from here. So you can see that they have a bunch of different options and they've added some new ones. But for me and what I need to do, I need an MP4 video that I'm going to upload to YouTube and our online course, The Profitable Channel. So I'm going to click local file and in parentheses, it says MP4, GIF, MP4A. So I'm going to click that one. And then you'll see that the window's different now. First thing here is the file name. On my videos that I render and I export, I always put the word final in all capitals at the end. So I know that that is the final finished version. It's not a clip of it. It's not the raw file. I know it's the first final version because sometimes, you know, I need to edit it again or change something or update something for a client, you know, and they want another version. So in that case, if, if this, for example, was being the second version, the second final version, I would go final two, which means that there is the first final and then now this one. But typically I'm going to put this word so that I know that this is the final one. This is the one that I'm going to put on YouTube. And don't mind this little thing here, that's Grammarly. And next here, file type, it's already set to MP4 and it's the recommended one. But if we click on it, you can go MP4 GIF or GIF or MP4A, which is audio. So obviously I want this as a video with audio. So I'm going to leave it at MP4. Next is the save location. So I actually want this to go to my desktop. So I'm going to click the folder. I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to just double click on desktop and then I'm going to click select folder and you'll see that it'll change the, the path. The location path is now going to be on the desktop. I just prefer to go there. I can see the video right away and it works best for me. So now I'm going to click the export button and now the video is rendering. So you can see it's also a little bit different now because it doesn't have a percentage. It's a dark gray window now before it used to be a white window and it used to have percentages. Personally, I actually miss the percentage because I liked seeing the numbers go up to 100% so I could actually see where the video was. Oh, and before I go, there we go. There's a little bit of a progress there. This video, like I said, is 60 minutes long, one hour long. So it's going to render for a bit. I'll see you back when it's finished. All right. So we are approaching the last part of the rendering here, rendering, exporting, same thing. Okay. So the video just ended here and it says here, your media was successfully exported. They're giving you a couple options here. You can literally just close the window view the media or open file location. So I know that it's on my desktop, so I can actually just close this, minimize this, and then there we go. The video is right here. So that's what the new exporting feature looks like in Camtasia 2022. If you got to this part of the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.